Right, welcome to UK Casuals. Um, as we all know, it's uh, England's opener against Serbia tonight. Uh, uh, eight o'clock kickoff. Um, there's there's also been some issues with England that that I've got up on my laptop now, which which seem to be a little bit strange. Um, first of all, the police, the German police, are very nicely asked for the uh, England fans not to sing ten Germans on. Uh, ten Germans in the air. There was ten German bombers in the air. The RAF shot one down. There was nine German bombers in the air, and so on and so forth. Which obviously goes back to the World War One and World War Two World Cup. To be fair. The fans that are singing it over, um, who may sing it, sorry, over at the Euros in Germany, uh, have inherited that song. They don't really know what it means because a lot of them wasn't even born during World War One or World War Two. Um, it's the same as the uh, the F the Pope and the IRA song. It's it, it's been inherited, so people don't really know what you know it's just been inherited it's just what english fans sing so i don't think there's there's any sort of malice in it and i think for the german police to to ask nicely it, it, it is fair enough but i don't think they're gonna get um much of a um a response from the english fans to so go on um they're playing Serbian tonight, which is is a a real um, high class security game. Apparently, five hundred uh, Serbian hooligans are going to be waiting for England uh, for a fight. Um, I guess um, I don't know why. Uh, if this was England's um, intelligence, I would say that five hundred. England people or fans or lads that were waiting for Serbia would be arrested and nicked and sent home straight away. So my first question is, why are the Serbian people or the fans of the football lads, whatever you want to call them, why are they allowed through to confront England fans? Um, because, OK, England have made a rod for their own back. You know, football hooliganism is called the English disease, but um, it's not how it used to be. Now, Sky News has kind of made me laugh. Um, are England being targeted not only by hooligans, but are, are they also being targeted by the police? Because British police are obviously over in Germany. They've said they've already spotted... Uh, 100 banned fans that are with in the English crowd. So why are and and also that they're, they're openly uh, sniffing cocaine off off the back of their hands. Um, but of course there is no footage of these English fans snorting cocaine off the back of their hands. So we it, so this is allegedly. I can't say. That this this is definite because there's no footage of it. I just don't want to go to work. There's no room for doubt in Dusseldorf. Optimism is high among the England fans, positive about their first game against Serbia. Feeling confident, confident. coming home. I think I think attack. We're looking really good. At least a 2-0 victory. They're a very strong side, very competitive, but I think we've got the skills to outmatch them. Today, the party will move up the road to Gelsenkirchen for the clash, and they hope the celebration. After the disappointment of the last Euros, hope is once again alive among the England fans.
But it's not just England fans out in force. British police are also in Germany on the lookout for trouble. We have seen people openly taking cocaine off the back of their hands, um, drinking beer, which is a lot stronger than what they used to. Um, and people tend to get carried away and don't think, do things that they normally would do at home. A rowdy crowd can quickly turn violent. A smash bottle or crossword can spark a fight. And it's the slightest thing, just changes the dynamic of the crowd. It's just that they're singing, they're singing, and all of a sudden they turn, just to see the body language change, to puff the chest out. The game against Serbia is classed as high risk. Right, let's go, let's, let's walk a bit faster. And previously banned fans are among this crowd. We've got 2,000 um, fans that are subject to banning orders. Some of those banning orders will have expired. Um, they wouldn't have done anything for, say, three or five years. So they haven't, we haven't got the grounds to stop them from travelling. And you've seen some fans? Yeah. In fact, Stuart and his team have seen around 100 known hooligans. They'll now report back to German police in the hope of keeping all of England's battles on the pitch. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News. So, Sky News have, have, have ran with this. Um, and it just seems that every time there's an England game, it's it's rather the press that will rev up the hooliganism side rather than the, the normal side of lads that just want to play football, that have travelled out there, that, that, have, that have paid their money or they've gone over there to go in, in the football fan zones and uh, just to watch the game. Um, obviously, we're all hoping that England win their open match. Let's all hope that the three Lions uh, start off to a, a great start. We also do have a reaction channel um, coming up soon um, with Dave Cass, uh, Mark Weston and Sam, who you haven't seen before, um, Anthony Vivian and uh, Martin Wymo Gardner from Talk From The Terraces 2. They will be on Monday tomorrow speaking about the reaction of whatever the score will be. The score will we'll talk about the score that happens tonight. Okay, we um that's all from UK Casuals for now. Um it's obviously in a very exciting time for English lads. The the football zones up and down the UK are are full. Um, the pubs in, in the UK are full. Um, so let's just hope that England get off to a good start and uh, there'll be more videos coming from UK Casual soon.